Okay, so I've just gone out of bed before. I heard this here yeah, dog yelping or something down the paddock here, so I'm just going to go down and grab a rough and a rough one. I might go for a walk and see what I can find. A few emus. Okay, it sounded like it was down that direction there, but okay, I can hear the birds are doing silly things there, but the trouble is the wind is blowing straight that way. So I might try and go in this way. It would make sense if they were down there because it's down the creek. They always seem to love hanging around creeks, travelling the creeks. I don't know why they'd be helping. Unless they're baiting or something, I'm not sure. Oh, it's going to be a fright. Quails. <laughs> Buzz out of the grass and running out. When you're on high alert, they make you jump. <laughs> Three dogs over here. Ah. I can see them, they're all in a group over there. They've stopped now. Don't know whether they think they might have seen me and got wind of me. Three of them there and they're just trotting off. I think they must have got wind of me. Oh, that's a shame. They were there about 150 metres away. I wonder if they walk up the creek.
I saw him over there heading this sort of way. I didn't bring any distress curls with me. Just have a bit of a look around the scope. Well, that was a bit of a disappointment, but at least I got to see what's in the area. So, I think they got the side of me, and they've moved off, there's three of them. And they've got to over, just over there somewhere, I originally saw them down the, well, between the creek and the lagoon down here. And they come around and they got they saw me or something down there and they run over here and I howled and they stopped and all three of them were standing together in a group. If I had a bit closer they could have shot all three of them in one shot but I wasn't going to take that shot at that distance. It'd be a good 400 metres I'd say. So, but there yeah, they seem to have, well, they looked for a bit then they just trotted off. Well, so they weren't in a big hurry, so I don't think they really knew what I was. They just got a bit wary and headed off. That's how easily dingoes can avoid you. They just disappear to a gully and you wouldn't so won't see them again. Might go, the neighbours can give me permission to go over to his place and set a few over there, so I might poke over there later and see what I can find dog sign in the area. See how we go. Anyway, I'll keep going and see you later. Well, Tishy is very interested in this spot here. So I reckon there might be a dog on heat, which might be what that yelping was I heard this morning. So I might come and set a trap here. Okay, so just over at the neighbour's place, Could, uh, had the dog out running around and he's found a couple of spots. Some of them are good spots, but not so good to put a trap. So I've done a bit of an experiment. I put a little bit of bitches urine at the base of this tree. There's some cattle pads and a main track that are going past here. It's a wind dogs are travelling there that's on the up upwind side of it. So they might be travelling through. I put a little bit there in the tree and the dog went straight up to it. I watched where he put his feet and he was sniffing at it and going crazy at it. So I might set one in right here and I'll put a bit of bitches here and there. Maybe in a bit of a rag at, right at the base of the tree, maybe. See if we can find another spot that's a little bit further off the track. A bit hard here, but a little bit limey, which is good. Righto Tish, let's get out of here. Okay, so I've got nine traps in the ground. We are two at our place and seven at the neighbours. Um, yeah, we're just heading home now. Let's see, what, see what happens in the morning. Well, this is morning one of checking this next run of traps. And nothing this morning. There's three traps set off by the cattle or something, so um, out of nine. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, it's all reset. Right, so it's this morning two of checking traps, and I've got a dog in this one here on the side of the road. He's 
done the drag but he hasn't been able to shift it at all. Got him on the back foot. Pretty big dog. Male. Hello. Held him pretty good. Right home. We'll go and get this one reset. Cattle will probably come here and smell the blood and muck around the tea, so gotta try and deter them from coming in. He should be in here and smell his blood over there, hopefully. It's the idea anyway. See if it works. I'll get this one back to the ute and sort him out. Okay, so it's morning three of checking the traps and been uh, past two of them now. I pulled two of them up yesterday because there was nothing there. But then you know, this morning coming back, checked two, there's nothing here and come up, up to the third one and we got a dog. Batch of him. Let's see what we got. Another big dog. A bit bigger than the one yesterday. Full pool catch. He's a great trap, these little Western Traffic Supplies number four threes. He hasn't chewed the ground up, so I'd say he's only been caught in the last hour or so. But he's a big dog. I might put him on the scales later and See how heavy he is. It's a pretty big dog. Right over, we'll just reset this trap. and we'll go over and just check this other one well this one's been set off I'd say the wallabies something probably set it off just go down to check this thing Last one where I got the dog yesterday. Or how I left it yesterday. But anyway, it's two dogs so far. In three days. So pretty happy with that. The neighbor will be happy. Anyway, we're going to take this to the home and go and deal with him. Right, I will put the scales on him. See what he weighs. About twenty one by four. Pretty big dog. 
have seen them bigger than that, heavier than that, but he's a decent size. Okay, checking the traps for wanting four. There's been nothing in that first one back there, but coming up on the one where I got the dog yesterday. Gonna have a look at this one. Come here late yesterday afternoon and this trap was set off. I couldn't even remember where it was for a second. But I got him in the ground just there. Let's go for a walk up here and let's check this other one I reset yesterday morning. It's still set so anyway. I'll move up and check the last one. A cow and a little baby calf there. That's what we're protecting. The dog could quite easily pull the calf a size down. Anyway, I'll we'll keep going and check this next one. Cattle will come in and set this one off. Got a few cattle tracks around here. So I don't think the dogs have even been travelling through here, so I think I might pull this one up. Right, well, that's the end of the fourth day of checking traps. Two dogs so far. So, yeah, well, I'll see what, see what happens tomorrow morning, if there's still nothing in tomorrow morning. Oh, we'll pull the traps up. Okay, it's morning five. I'm checking the traps and I'm going to pull all my traps up this morning. So I'm just here at the first one where I caught that first dog and there's nothing being back, so it's time to pull them up. I'm sort of surprised we even got two dogs, this, this one, because I wasn't sure how much dog activity was in the area. But it proved to be worth it. Worth the exercise. Anyway, I'll keep moving on up to the next spot. Well, this one's the cattle have set it off again. So this is where we're going to pull it up. Well, that's all my traps pulled up and I'm just heading off. So I think that that'll be all for this video. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And yeah, if you also, if you want to support what I do, you can head over to Patreon. I'll put the link in the description below. Any, any support would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.